Hello, people. This is Brighter here with a review of the Avatar and Tide Dawn Brothers Chain Hero 07 Ninja Alter. So, here we are with our last Chain Hero specific Sentai Alter, as this one's based off of Ninja, because I've been f forgetting to say which Sentais these are based off of, because. I guess I have to keep constantly repeating it. However, this one's actually uh, interesting because this, this one actually mainly focuses on Jorogoku as the two were released at the same time. And this one actually does have box art for, or it does actually have Jorogoku on the front. So I assume the artist that does these things also are the ones that have been putting out the illustrations for like the Zenkai Jew gear and then like Drogoku in the back of set four. Yeah. And then obviously it comes with the Ninja Alter, tells you that you need Drogoku. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's at least different angles. But this is not consistent, actually, because it's it doesn't actually show you, like, uh, Don Dro or like Don Nin Nin Dro Goku altar. It just shows you the altar itself, and it only shows Don Dro Goku altar, even though there is a Moltaro altar. So here we have the um, altar completely assembled and such. Obviously, it only contains the altar gear itself, which we will take a look at later. Taking a look at the altar is, I mean, it's definitely original, <laughs> but this is, I don't get how they came to this conclusion of basically making a drone out of the Aka Ninja Shuriken. Like, it's cool that at least it's present in some manner, but this isn't even like, correlated at all to like Shinobi Maru. It's just, it's just interesting, <laughs> is all I can really say. Like, the color scheme is pretty neat, overall. Obviously, the Dawn Clan logo. Got Aka Ninja Shuriken blades, and then just black at the center. Like, it's pretty neat. It doesn't do anything, it just... It does... It just spins. <laughs> and then, like, it has stands for it to fly. And such, and because of that, I forgot this was actually acknowledged, uh, you can try putting Drogoku on. It'll put, like, you can balance him on, but, like, that's kind of it. <laughs> you can balance him on there. Like, other than that, I don't think you're supposed to, like, have him ride on it or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's... That's kind of it. Like, if you want to, like, again, compare it with. You can't stand it up like that. Like, if you want to compare it with, like, the altars, like. Don Momotaro. For a Goku. Let's just move on. <laughs> so I've been doing this inconsistently, but here's the Ultra Gear for Ninja. Obviously, it's pretty standard at this point, and I think this is the last one we have to cover. Good. Um, this one is B zero, not B. Oh, it is B B one o six. Yeah, and then it's double notch, so it is a Dawn Brothers gear. And for comparison with the Ninja Avatar gear. Let's use this within the tie card door. So we get Legend Alter.
so it does acknowledge which gear it is. And then... for this video would be the usage of this within the Dawn Blaster. I'm pretty sure this used the Kai side. <laughs> So pretty cool to have the shuriken sound. So obviously we will first use Don Goku as he's the sole user of this one. I don't, I don't know why, but <laughs> I, I think it's just, I mean, they needed to advertise one for him, but oh well. Uh, eyes, so of course it's too bright. So, we don't need to do anything about his legs. It's all within the arms. So, what you're going to do is just simply remove the arms like so. And then, pop off the upper half of the arms. Because <laughs> you're going to need them. And then... This thing you're just going to take apart completely as it's just in four quadrants. And then um, you want to take uh, two even sides. <laughs> um, no, it's basically the same. So th it's basically kind of like the Togutra Alter where you're going to get unevenness, but you basically want this in focus so then you can take these and apply them to the arm like so because you want these facing out like such so it's going to be uneven and then from this point on you want to take the arms and then kind of like what you've done with the dragon form you want to form them like this peg them down like so kind of want to move them like that and make sure that he's gonna stand nope. <laughs> at this point then you want to apply these to the inverse and peg them down here like so because you want these facing in I believe <laughs> Cause you want, cause you want to have Dragoku. <laughs> you want to have these, like, cause you want to pose them like this, and um, you're gonna take these pieces and peg them up here. But you actually want the peg sticking out <laughs> for some reason. Which means you just simply peg this up here like so. Peg that up there. And you're going to take the star piece and clip it onto the chest like so. And last but not least, turn this around to tab the altar gear like so. And 
connect this piece back in. Like so. Again, I, I feel like I might have this wrong. <laughs> but I feel like it is correct to... I think it is correct to have these inside. <laughs> I kind of, I could have looked at the footage because it's still on this camera, but. Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna do, but. Yeah, so you don't use the root kernel gimme at all, of course. But <laughs> yeah, so here is Don Nin Nin Drogoku Alter. It's. I think it looks fine, and again, I like the color scheme because, you know, it's mostly green with red. I like that. Putting this thing together is just a mess. <laughs> Jura Goku does not like these pieces on him, as you can tell. Like, again, like, you have to do stuff like this to the hand just to make sure, because obviously it's supposed to be like this, but like, he can't when his legs are trying to split apart and like like it's a cool looking form it's just I kind of would like if it actually stuck together well and like obviously his arms are kind of limited now because they're kind of just in this weird position which is why you kind of have to display them like that and then just <laughs> Having all these pieces just come out, it's just, it's just not fun. <laughs> Which is why it's, it, this is supposed to be the main combination with this one, and yet it just falls apart and doesn't want to stand. <laughs> However, um, this there is a combination with uh, Don Molotaro we can do, which like, we can just easily disassemble draw Goku and waste a bunch of time <laughs> just trying to. I was going to do it off camera, but then I wanted consistency, so because I've always took these off. In frame. And again, like, it's at least simple. Like, they made these at least simple to, like, put them back together. But. I think he wants to stand, so. <laughs> Basically, with Molotaro Alter, first of all, we have to do that. And then we just simply have to. Um, I think we peg these, because oh. I think this one's interesting as what you have to do with Molotar Alter is actually remove the forearms, <laughs> like so. And then just basically do the same concept of replacing these as the arms entirely in verse. And then um, <laughs> sticking these within this. Uh, this peg, the further peg, or the further hole within the shoulder pad, <laughs> and make sure he stands, and then clip this like so, and then take the alter gear and clip it in. Now, like. Yeah, admittedly, this one, I do like a bit more. It's just the issue 
is its weight. <laughs> it, this is really taxing on this figure. And yeah, I'll admit, it's a bit too much red. There's not enough black to break it up. And just... It, it just can't handle... <laughs> the shoulder pa pads cannot handle these pieces. Okay, but, and, like, you can just see that it's just, it's just struggling. <laughs> None of these figures can, like, handle these combinations at all, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, anyways, this one, I will tell you how to put this one back together because it, this one actually is a bit tricky and it sucks because the chess piece is actually cool <laughs> all right so basically this one's kind of fussy putting back together because you have to make sure everything aligns together so as you can see here you want to make sure you put them together in a way that actually has them matching. Because <laughs> sometimes you have it so like... Um, if I can't actually show it. You have it... Oh, okay, that works too, but I mean, like, I just want to show that, like, sometimes when you try to put these together, you're going to have the issue of this is, you accidentally made it too wide, so, like, you just want to make sure that they're, like, put together well and such so then you can actually securely put this in and such but overall uh, my thoughts on the ninja altar it's just easily the weakest one of the four <laughs> like it is creative like it still has the merit of being creative and like this one technically is the technically the only one that actually does have two cannon uh, formations even though, again, you can still do the other formations with Jurgoku. But, I don't know. This one just falters really badly. <laughs> like, it's just... I don't know. It's just weird because, like... I feel like this would have been one I really would have liked because of how creative it was. But just handling... Like, oh, like, this entire line has a big issue with these formations. Like, trying to do these formations and just, like, the handling of them. Because they just want to tip over most of the time. Or just want to fall apart on you. Which is just a bummer. And, like, I can't... Again, I just can't support this line. <laughs> but... The thing that sucks, too, is that you are stuck in the Change Heroes. There's no mini plug counterpart and such, but if you're for some reason uh, very segregate on change, or you're very segregate on mini plus, yes, you can get this in a set with Goku. I think I did get this one. This is, I think it, this one's worse too because of the fact that this is the only one I actually did get full price off of HLJ uh, for 15 all the other ones I at least got for 10 under, or I, I mean, I think I got Rue Soldier for 11 or so, but like this one was the most expensive in terms of like retail price, which happily you can get it for cheaper, but I don't know, it just, this one's really odd, definitely, <laughs> which I guess fits with Ninja's like motif of just wackiness or just like random things but I don't know it's, it's, it's definitely weird <laughs>